what it do y'all it's your boy back home here in seattle washington man and man uh the trip back home was a journey y'all and as you can see got the u-haul and the trailer in the background and i'll tell you a little bit more about this i'm gonna try to make this intro really short um uh that way i can get into the video but man i had a we had a great trip and all and it was awesome and the event was awesome the show was awesome and everything and then we uh loaded up and headed out on the way home and then we had some car trouble so um i won't get into total into detail but basically the transmission went out on me and it kind of showed signs over time that um uh, something was kind of funky with it, but I was just gonna ride it out because it's a 4060 E and if you know anything about those um, They're notorious for going out and some people will build them But most people just say put a 4080 in it and uh, build it up and call it a day So or something better turbo 400 or something like that. But anyways, I'll let the, the videos of these next clips kind of explain my journey and kind of what happened on my way home um Fortunately, fortunately enough, we got home safe and fairly quickly um, as well. But uh, let me flip this camera around so I can at least show you kind of what my remedy is going to be for this, or how I'm going to, what I'm going to do to replace it as well. So hold so on. So, anyways, y'all, sorry about my camera, y'all. Um, I try to record from the other end of my camera, but my camera, my phone's all jacked up and it's like shaking and everything. I don't know what's up with it. But uh, as you can see. I got a Turbo 400 right here. That's what I'm going to use for my Chevelle. Supposedly that's been rebuilt, has a shift kit in it and everything. Um, hopefully, we'll see. Uh, I got it for fairly cheap, so we'll see. I, kinda, I might go through it and kind of just see what it look, what it's, uh, what the fluids look like and what at least what the pan looks like um, as well with it off. So we'll see on that one. But right here, I got a full 80E right here that came with the 60 that I got. Um, that fluid was totally black. So... I'm not even gonna mess with trying to put it in uh, as is. I'm just going to um, send it in, have it rebuilt. I'll probably just have it built up, um, built up a little bit, probably more than stock, but enough that it can handle more than handle my build and everything, and and um, make sure it's all going through. Just pay the money to get it done right. That way, I can slap it in and call it good. So, um, and then I'll either sell that for L60 or turn it as a core or something like that. Whatever money I can get out of it. It is what it is so you know it lasted me two and a half years and you know unknown from a junkyard so you know I'll take it but um when I get that for old lady in there and get that thing built yeah it's gonna be a monster so um, and then again that turbo 400 right Chia is going in the Chevelle so anyways um, enough of me talking in regards to leading into this next video so you guys can see what's up and what kind of happened and everything so it's gonna be good to not so good so what is going down y'all i am uh in susanville nevada which is about an hour or so outside of reno and uh we are on our way back home the uh event has ended we are getting gas and uh just wanted to talk a little bit about the car here let me flip it around and it has been driving like a champ y'all uh, getting gas right now topping it off yeah it has been driving like a champ y'all um drove all the way here no issues this obd2 port deal that i'm using here the dongle that's wireless um has been great uh temps have been super cool this has actually been the warmest it has been uh, but today it's been running it even got as cool as 188 uh, So that's been pretty uh, That was actually pretty interesting to see how cool it was running, uh, but it's kind of been saying about 190 to 200 uh, And my fans don't even cut out until 205. So that's been great y'all, uh, but it's been riding awesome No issues at all What in the hell is this? Yeah, that's Doing road construction got us on the freaking off roading now. Shit, so the Caprice, the Caprice has been through it all, y'all. Done good on our drive, been seeing all kinds of stuff, and now we're going off roading. <laughs> Literally, this is legit, was this a freeway, and now they're doing some road improvements. And I mean, 
Look at this. It was not like this two months ago. Or we, half ago. we just traveled this road. And it was a straight up normal freeway. And now it's this. It's so crazy they got a pace car leading us out. So, good thing is it's not extremely dusty or anything. So, no crazy holes or anything like that. So, but it's, it's a bit bumpy, so I gotta go slow. About 10 miles an hour. But yeah, y'all, we done seen it all. On our way home, be home another 10 hours. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah. It is windy as hell out here, so I apologize if you can't hear me, but Hi. you can see the two ladies. Uh, one is doing great, doing phenomenal. and one is not. <laughs> Damn. So after I just made the video of, oh, it's been running good, nothing, nothing, nothing. It's been happening, it's been running great. Uh, transmission's acting up. We are seven hours away from home. Maybe closer to six now. And she decides that she doesn't wanna go past first gear. So she'll go in reverse, she'll move through first. Uh, occasionally we go into second, but anytime I try to get her past that, nothing. So. Conveniently and uh, I don't ironically. know. Ironically, I guess we broke down off an only exit that happens to be at a popping joint. Uh, All Star Liquors, discount liquors, everything seventy percent off. <laughs> and I mean, they got everything. So you know, your boy had to get you a bottle, and the bottle that I got, let me see. Never had this before, but I'm a Ciroc fan. $16.99. And I wanted to try this. I was gonna get the mango, I actually love the peach, but the dude said, oh, if you get this and mix it with some squirt or something, um, it'll be good. So I'll try it with the squirt, but $16.99, y'all. So I'll swoop that up, but yeah, man. Ain't this about a B. So we'll see. Um, supposedly this was rebuilt before I got it, but I guess that's been over two years now or more. Uh, it was just rebuilt to stock specs, I guess. And in the past, I remember checking it and seeing some gritty material in there, but it wasn't too bad. It was still kind of pink. Uh, but I actually just flushed it out and everything and put some Lucas stop slip in there. And I did that probably two months ago or so. Um, but I guess maybe this trip just did it in. So luckily it got us to the show and we're actually able to enjoy the show, the cruises and everything. And three hours out on the way home, it acts up. So yeah, could be worse. So there it is, y'all. It is what it is. And uh, now I just got a slap of frail lady in it. 
Yeah. And I have one at home that I bought when I bought the 6.0 for the Chevelle. And I have a Turbo 400 that I'm gonna use for the Chevelle that was supposedly rebuilt, but we shall see. Um, supposedly the Turbo 400 has been rebuilt and it has a shift kit in it and whatnot and has really low miles. So we'll see, but I'm gonna slap that in the Chevelle. And then I got the Frail 80 for when this goes out. Uh, I was gonna rebuild the Fro 80 and put that in here. I just didn't know when that was gonna happen, but it looks like it's gonna start to happen now. Shit. <laughs> Sometime soon, but I can't do anything right now yet uh, until I get this certification done for my, um, my side gig. So anyways, y'all, that's what's going down now. We're waiting for this tow truck to get us to the next nearest spot which is ashland oregon i believe uh and it had they have a a u-haul there so we rented a truck and a trailer and we're just gonna tow it home so um uh, yeah y'all so anyways that's it luckily we saved for this trip and we have some extra cheese to go towards this and it's not actual money coming out of our own pockets but i mean it is but it's side money that we use for this trip and we we're going to use the rest of the money for another trip but um which we will still still have some money left over so we should be good but yeah pretty much it y'all so stay tuned for more i might try to get some footage of the tow truck maybe not i don't know we'll see but stay tuned we'll be back holla yeah this is happening This is happening. Well, damn. And there it is, y'all. That's what happened on them on our way home from the trip. So luckily, we were still able to make it there, enjoy the trip, enjoy the show, and get part way home before anything happened. But uh, fortunately enough, and with God's blessing, y'all, uh, we made it to where we could be safe find the resources uh to get us home safely and it all worked out so uh but uh yeah that's pretty much what happened so but stay tuned for more with the chevelle as i get this for a lady rebuilt nothing's really going to happen though within the next couple weeks uh or a few weeks several weeks until i can pass this certification for my side gig uh so probably not a whole lot of videos uh for the next couple weeks but once i get past that i am hitting the chevelle build hard so stay tuned on that y'all uh i'm adding another chevelle to the chevelle game and with my own little twist on it and it's gonna be it's gonna be nice it's gonna be real real nice and i picked up some parts the other day uh for the engine bay and everything man it's gonna look real clean so stay tuned for that because that's coming soon and uh yeah you know you know how i'm doing it just keep it just keeping them coming i appreciate y'all my subscribers are growing fairly quickly um i hit a thousand and i'm already up another 20 subscribers so um within like a week and a half or so so i appreciate all y'all um if you guys know anybody that would like my channel refer me to them like comment subscribe all that good stuff y'all and let's keep this thing rolling y'all i'm just trying to put my own little twist and my own little deal uh to the youtube game the car game and everything and um my my goal for this is to add a channel uh add some do-it-yourself type things things that you can do at home you don't need a big shop you don't need all these crazy fancy tools just stuff that you can do that the normal guy can do at home in a small ass garage with your basic tools and if you can turn a wrench man you can make shit happen so um that's what my goal is and hopefully i can help somebody in regards uh to shoot just building a car so all right y'all i'll holla uh again appreciate y'all thank you so much stay tuned for more